This is an important broadcast from Canonymous. Too long, people have tarnished Useless the creative waste time. time. But are you worthy of the status? First, we challenge photographer and YouTuber Laura BC and creative director Sal of Trio Stories to prove they are worthy of your attention and ensure the legitimacy of this challenge we call upon the king of YouTube and the legendary geezer, James Matthews, to be the judge and bring you to justice. King of YouTube? I think you got the wrong person, mate. I think I'm probably more like the jester. However, I have heard that Bart has stuck on, you know, a cheeky little challenge for both Sal and Laura. So, have you two got it in the locker or what? Like, are you going to pull it out? Don't let the jester down. We are Canonymous. They don't know what they're about to walk into. They're not too bad, no? I have to shoot quick because otherwise there is no time. I'm upset. Uh, Let's find out. Are you taking a piss, you two? Oh God, that's easy. No, it's not. <laughs> there are three sealed envelopes, each with a unique photography challenge. They look pretty nervous. They have no idea, and the stakes are high. I do have a feeling that you two could pull it out of the bag, so let's see what you got, girls. <laughs> okay. We both take it. <laughs> Open it. Oh. Oh. oh my god. The first task is simple. Head to Camden Town. More instructions of your challenge await you there. I'm curious whether Sal will hate me for this. Nervous now with him more. Okay. We have hacked your phones. You have no internet. Find the shop known by the name Collective. Find it and you shall uncover the real challenge. Things are starting to get serious. It has to be here. I do have a really novel concept and that's the idea that we ask someone. Cheeky move to ask for directions. Assemble a vintage photo shoot. Grace Kelly, Audrey, he Marilyn Monroe. Take eight photographs that you are proud of. We will be watching. The clock is ticking. Project 150 pounds. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, let's go. 40s to 50s outfit. Inspired by like the days of swing and you know, pin-up style, so. Have you picked the thing that I'm most uncomfortable with? It has to be a challenge, right? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. For pictures, the outfit is everything. They're not fun. They're my favorite so far. Wanna... It's starting to come together. Yeah. Sal's doing her makeup in the shop changing room. Let's just see Sal really go outside of her comfort zone. I'm in my head right now, thinking what I'm going to do. In terms of poses, how I'm going to shoot wear as well because well now the light is quite good so i think it's gonna be good different than what you're expecting yeah very different to what i was expecting for sure oh. three pounds within the budget oh wow is that 150 it was 150 spot on wow. okay the outfit's assembled yeah. let's get shooting thank you Two. guess how much it cost 146 pounds 97 oh, yes Challenge one is officially okay. on. No put the sunglasses on. I know like you are, but look in front. There is a lot of people, so it's quite hard. She will not be liking this. She's literally in the center of attention here. Look this way. Now I've yeah, entered the urban jungle here. <laughs> Getting creative here. I love this. This one is so beautiful. So put the head towards the dark and you're looking up like you are thinking. Mm. 
So give us an update. Is there any that you would say you love so far? Because I think I heard that mentioned. Mm, yes, but there is one I want to repeat because there is lights on the ceiling. So I'm gonna put a mist filter because it's gonna bloom the highlights and I think it's gonna look very 60s. This is the shot. No, there are some so. Quick update, we've just been kicked out of uh, photographing here, so we're changing location. Um, I think it's going well so far. It's amazing shots indoors in that uh, bar and they are my favorite already because they are moody, they are very um, film looking. Yeah. I will tell you that I'm actually learning in the process here <laughs> as well uh, and one thing that I've seen Laura do is she's going back to places that she's started shooting now that she's I'm guessing warmed up and in the swing of things and she's correcting the photos that she thought probably had potential and now doing a second take of them so that's a super useful tip and Sal's looking hot we've got that misogyny on camera one more location okay It's just been so fun so far. Food? That's Camden for you. Stewie says... Laura, did we get eight photos that you love? Yes, we actually got more than eight for sure because I like to shoot a lot as I mentioned and we got incredible pictures with her. She's very awesome in front of people so yeah, we have more than eight. Well done, well done. But the sun has almost set and you have two creator challenges remaining. Let's see how they get on with this one. What up? The downfall of humanity. Head to bank where you will find the coordinates to your next location. We've got two hours left of daylight, so we've got to get cracking. Oh, Challenge number two. Oh my god. Go to these coordinates. I'm not coordinates. Them out. Coordinates. <laughs> oh my god. I can tell they're nervous, I can tell. I am, I'm curious, you know, I'm curious. Before we were confident because we were, you know, warm up already and we were flowing nicely together. But it's now it's a new thing. Stripped away. Okay, so I think this was that way, no? Do you recognize it? Maybe. You need a hint. Harry Potter, I know it. If you need a hint, there's a link in the bio. Yeah, where Harry Potter appears buying the magic wand. Leadenhall Market, from the Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Assemble an outfit worthy of a witch or wizard, 
There's a catch. No witch is complete without her hat. Buy the outfit to reveal three shots required to complete the second task. Swag. Onward. Like time. Yeah, you look like Harry Potter just because they have EMFs and herbology. Well, they pulled the mandrake. Yeah. And it's struggling to find a hat. There are no shops. They are very far away and we are running out of light, basically. So I think green and black and the black hat and then the red in the background with the lights. We have a lady who is assisting us in finding a suitable outfit for a wizard. She was coming to tell us off for filming the store and I managed to get her to help. Excellent. And she says she's got a long black coat with like a hood, like a pointy kind of... Let's check this out. Come on. She's coming. They were trying to get all problem solving and use a pointy witch-like hood instead of a hat. Should we let them have that? The viewers have voted, yes we can. The task is simple. Complete these three photos to reveal the third and final challenge. Get these shots in Lindenhall Market. Feature a reflection, double exposure. And just like Canonymous, no face. I think we will allow that. That is very witchy. Yes. With the 35mm from Sigma F1.4, I'm gonna add the mist filter so it's a bit more misty. I love Sigma lenses. <laughs> Scared Potter. Is there the one more? This one is the one I think. No thanks. Lara has chosen to add an RGB light into the mix. Amazing. This, is this the one? This is the one, definitely. Ah, so good. I'm alive. To create the reflection, I needed the RGB light because otherwise it was super, super dark the reflection and you couldn't see it. But with the RGB light, her face is more lit, so then the reflection is there. So I think we did a very good job. Take it off. And now the double exposure. So for the double exposure, I'm gonna use the Sigma 105 again because I want a very close up of her because otherwise it's gonna be very confusing, the double exposure. It's gonna be people everywhere and landscape everywhere. Probably look in front and then I shoot again with her looking to one side. So we're gonna do a few to see the composition how it works. Oh, okay, you're going for an in-camera double exposure. Yeah. So we can see it right away, nice. Yes. Okay, we got it. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yes. Done. Let's Done. take it off. completed the second task. I'm surprised and somewhat disappointed. But alas, the final challenge remains, and I think you'll find this one more challenging. How does it feel to be just one envelope away from a personalized video message from James Matthews? Oh, it's good. We are getting there. I'm excited. I'm the photographer now. Now I have to take three photographs of Laura and she has to be happy to post one of them on her Instagram. So we've got a bit of makeup being applied here and we've got learning to use a camera in the background. Yes, <laughs> changing positions, you know. Where's the shot Yeah, I'm happy with that, banger. Let me see, let me see. Nice. One shot, one now. Do you think we've got one worthy yet or? Yes, yeah? we do. Buy one more because nobody takes pictures of me and she's good, so. I believe that is the end of the challenge. Finally. So, congratulations. The challenge is complete. Yes. You two have won a personalized video from James Matthews. 
Sal and Laura, are you taking a piss, you two? Like, what's that about? You absolutely failed. You're a disgrace. Sorry. Well, congratulations, girls. I must say, very, very nice work. But well done on sticking on that challenge because it was a very, very tough one. I think you girls absolutely pulled it out of the bag. I'm not going to lie. Great work, London. What a city and all. You can't really go wrong, can you? Sal, Laura, you girls. Smashed. Half past six. So we've been shooting all day, the three challenges, moving around London, buying ridiculous things. This is what about the internet is about. Meeting people, like minded, and who you can just do crazy stuff with like this. It was amazing. How was the modeling for one of UK's best photographers? Pleasure. So easy. So much better than my usual photographer. <laughs> I'll cut that, I'll cut that. Social media is to be social. And we follow each other for almost two years, our YouTube channels. And I was so happy when I met them because it's like I finally got to see them personally. And they are exactly like in their videos. And we got created together out of our comfort zone. Oh so yes. it was a real challenge for both. And this is super good for your creativity, guys. So I highly recommend you to do the same because, Hi. yes, it was amazing. Yes. We are canonymous. You're an absolute disgrace to the photography, Steen. This was fun.